Stoicism Around 334 BC, whatever that means, Zeno of Citium was born. Zeno is considered the founder of the Stoic school of philosophy. He was a Hellenistic philosopher of Phoenician origin from Citium in Cyprus. He taught Stoicism in Athens from about 300 BC. Stoicism laid great emphasis on goodness and peace of mind gained from living life of virtue in accordance with nature. Zeno is rarely cited in modern Stoic literature. The reason being is that none of his writings have survived, but several authors preserved some details about his life and philosophy. It has been told that there is no certainty about Zeno's ethnic and cultural background, except that his nickname was the Phoenician and he was described as a haggard, dark-skinned man. His main enjoyment was to sit in the sun, eating figs and drinking wine. His father gave him books about Socrates that he brought back from his travels as a merchant, and as a result, Zeno became obsessed with philosophy, and eventually established the philosophical framework of Zenonism. Stoicism was originally known as Zenonism, and his pupils were called Zenonians at first, but later became known as the Stoics. The name Stoicism derives from the Stoia Poikile, which means painted porch, a colonnade decorated with mythic and historical battle scenes on the north side of the Agora in Athens, where Zeno and his followers gathered to discuss their ideas. Zeno divided philosophy into three parts. Logic, which consists of rhetoric, theories of perception, and thought. Physics, not just science, but the divine nature of the universe as well. And ethics, as in flushing the toilet after you take a piss in a public bathroom. For Zeno, the nature of the universe primarily consists of matter and is governed by a divine principle. Therefore, this divine principle or being, for Zeno, isn't apart from the universe. This divine being is the universe itself. Furthermore, Zeno considered that which exercises reason is more excellent than that which does not exercise reason. There is nothing more excellent than the universe, therefore the universe exercises reason. This is why Zeno believed that we should live in accordance with nature and the universal reason. He emphasized that beings should live in harmony with nature and he considered that the goal of life is living in agreement with nature, which means living according to reason which also means living according to virtue, which is derived from reason. It's quite clear that Zeno is going through circular logic, but that's his system. For Zeno, living in such a manner should result in no crime, no greed, no injustice, and no hatred. For Zeno, the opposite of virtue is vice, and only through the rejection of reason is vice rooted. Zeno preaches that man conquers the world by conquering himself, teaching his students the value of apathy. Stoicism refers to a state of mind in which one is not disturbed by the passions. It is best translated by the word equanimity rather than indifference. Happiness lies in conquering passions and emotions and conforming to divine will, the power of faith. He argued that by controlling one's emotions and passions one could develop wisdom and with that the ability to apply it by living according to reason, which gives the Stoics the power to set an example and influence others. The philosophy in which Zeno founded was later on resumed and progressed by other notable philosophers such as Seneca, Chrysippus, and Marcus Aurelius.